This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have an awesome tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Pupi. Pupi is a post-exploitation remote administration tool and cross-platform tool. It works on Windows, Linux, OS X, and Android. It also executes all payload and exploits in memory like PowerShell, Metasploit, and Coatic. And it even supports payloads generation in multiple formats like Python, PowerShell, EXE, Reflective DLL, and more. This tool is written in Python and was developed by Nicholas Verdier, who is at N1NJ4Sec on Twitter. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. Well, take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to dump hashes from a target machine using Mimikatz on a Pupi session. First, we need to generate a Pupi file using PupiGen script. Let's check the IP address of the attacker machine and generate a malicious payload binary. Flag A defines the architecture of operating system and flag O specifies the target machine OS. We can also observe that during payload generation, we were asked to provide a password. This password is used for authentication later. Now, let's start a listener Pupi SH script to handle connections. We also need to provide the same password here. Next, we can send the Pupi malicious file to the target user and make him execute it using social engineering skills. On execution, the payload file opens a connect back session to the attacker's machine. Let's check the session information. We can list all modules using list module command. In order to dump hashes, we need administrator privileges. We will use bypass UAC module to gain administrator privileges. After running the bypass UAC module within 10 to 15 seconds, we will get another session with elevated rights. Now let's interact with the newer session using flag I and session number. As this session is with elevated privileges, we can gain admin privileges using privilege debug command, and then dump the hashes. We learned how by using this type of tool, an attacker can gain complete access to a machine remotely. All he needs is the target user to execute this binary on their machine just once. Another good reason not to run any untrusted binary on the system. And also to keep the AV and softwares up to date. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.